It has been a year and a half since Hurricane Ian, and one Florida family is still struggling to get back on their feet and into their own home. They have purchased a new home in Castleberry, but building delays are preventing them from moving in. News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden is helping get results. Well, you guys, I have been reporting in Orlando for two decades now, and one thing that always impacts me is how long it can take people to recover after a storm. 70-year-old Deborah Wedberg says she almost lost everything during Hurricane Ian, and this is her home in Pine Island, which is right next to Sanibel Island. She and her adult daughter survived the storm, but she says getting back in their own home has been a challenge. It was devastating. It was devastating. Sanibel Island, Fort Myers Beach, and Pine Island bore the brunt of Hurricane Ian's powerful winds and storm surge. It did an estimated $100 billion in damage and destroyed thousands of structures, including 70-year-old Deborah Wetberg's home on Pine Island. We went back to the house and I couldn't even believe what it looked like. All my stuff was thrown into the woods and all over the yard. We were still alive, so we had, we had that. Since then, Wetberg and her adult daughter, who is disabled, have been picking up the pieces. They moved to Orlando with her nephew and have shared this bedroom for a year and a half. You moved in with him so that you could avoid a shelter? Yes. So that was the only option at that point? Yes. She found a piece of land in Castleberry and took out a loan to purchase her own manufactured home. She purchased it from Family Dream Homes in Christmas, but she says... It's just been one nightmare after another. The home has been situated on the lot, but she still isn't allowed to move in. Because I don't have any insurance on it. They have risk insurance. But the homeowner has no insurance until they're all done and I move in. According to the loan agreement, the work was supposed to be done on or before September 25th of last year. But Wetberg says there are still many things that have to be done, including electrical, a carport, and driveway. All I want is answers. You could at least, if you don't have an answer, at least text me and say, you know, Deb, we don't have an answer for you, but I'm working on it. Something. I can't get any answers. I want something. We did get some answers. Family Dream Homes is now Palm Harbor Family Dream Homes. New Six spoke to Doug Bassett, who is the general manager, by phone multiple times. He initially agreed to an interview, but then decided against it. But he blames the delays on wet weather, inspections, and permitting. New Six checked, and according to this email from the city of Castleberry, the company applied for a permit in May of last year. However, the city didn't approve the permit until September 20th of last year. There have also been issues with inspections. Meantime, Wetberg is stuck making interest payments on a loan for a home she can't live in. I should have been in my house. I'm not getting any younger. Now, I spoke with the permitting department at the city of Castleberry. They tell me this type of permit typically takes two to three weeks, but this one took four months. The company had to resubmit a couple of times because the city didn't have all the information needed to sign off on it. Bassett tells me they are going to do their best to have Wetberg in her home within a month, weather permitting. So mm. we certainly hope that happens. <laughs> she has already been through so oh much. My yeah, it's just hard when you don't know, when they're not communicating with you about Correct. what's going on, right? And that was their biggest problem, was the lack of communication. Mm -hmm. You know, people understand delays, especially it with happens. construction. Sure. Yeah. But you can't ghost a customer like that. No, no, and that was the worst thing. But now, she, you know, she has a, a timeline, yeah. and so she feels a little better. So Good. we're gonna check in with them and- Oh, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> he will be checking yeah, in. Exactly. Louis Bolton, right, thank you so much. Job, yeah, thank appreciate you. you.